Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I am finally doing my Olive Young haul. Since the Korea vlog just went live, I figured it was a good time to kind of do this haul because I'm still working on the Philippines vlog. But honestly, being home after two big trips to Asia this year has been so nice getting back into a routine. And so there's been a lot of chores around the house. So lots of laundry, organizing, not to mention like this huge pile of like skincare that I still need to put away. But definitely a lot of stuff at home but I'm enjoying that period of just being at home after being away for so long doing a lot of organizing which I actually love it's a great way for me to decompress after traveling I've been able to get through my book list a lot better because I've been listening to books on audible for a while my reading list has kind of stopped but because of audible I have been able to get back into things because now I'm able to get through my reading list while I am doing these other tasks at home. Audible has tons of titles on their app as well as podcasts. It's just a great way for me to be able to listen to chapters as I'm getting through my to-do list. Whether that's, you know, making my morning coffee or organizing things for work. Things that I do so routinely that I don't really need to think about and I'm able to focus on like what I'm listening to. It's a great way for me to just multitask and I love it because I'm listening to things and it's almost like I'm having a friend talk to me and you know tell me a story. So what I'm currently listening to on Audible is The Mountain Is You which has been on my list for so long but I've just not been able to get around to it and I think for me too ever since like I did therapy it's just great to be able to get through these books that are all about bettering yourself, self-help. Thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you'd like to give Audible a try and see if it's right for you, you can do a 30-day free trial with my link audible.com slash Lenore, or you can also text Alyssa Lenore, one word, to 500-500, and you should be able to get a link to get a free trial, as well as credits to try out you know, things that might have been on your reading list. Also, not to mention, it's so great for when I'm unwinding and doing my skincare routine, just because, like, I do it so automatically. It has definitely come in so handy, so highly recommend you give Audible a try. So, again, all of my links will be down below as well as the information. And speaking of skincare, let's get to my Olive Young haul. If you haven't watched my Korea vlog already, that is live on my channel, so if you want to check it out before this, after this, whatever, but this stuff has been sitting in this bag for so long because I've been so overwhelmed by it. I've probably only taken out my sunscreen, so we're just gonna get right on to it. Skincare in Korea is so crazy. It is for such a good price because I think if I got this much stuff here in the States, it would have cost me like double the price. Oh, first up, this is actually from the airport. So this is a fan and it is so hot and humid in Asia. So a personal fan, like people are walking around with it all the time and it actually does make a difference. So this one has several modes. This is a brand called Kinse. Times like these, I'm glad I'm a big bag person because I can easily just fold this and have a little personal fan. This one can also stand at a desk, so. Okay, first thing from my haul, not even skincare. What I did is I got recommendations from tons of people and I also checked TikTok what the top items are from uh, Olive Young. And this came up a lot. This is the Anua Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner. So it looks like this. Again, I have not even like opened up my skincare. I actually just got a facial yesterday. So I actually have some like red spots because we did extractions. But I'm very excited to kind of reset and start using these products. So I had a deep clean facial with Georgia Louise and I've been going to her atelier ever since like before the wedding to get my skin prepped for the wedding. So now that we did a deep clean and she gave me instructions on how I should properly, you know, take care of my face, I'm very excited to start these. This one, also very popular on TikTok, is the Mediheal Collagen Ampoule Pad. So these are toner pads and we don't really have these. Mediheal is also the brand that I went with for my mask. The statistician also told me that I should be doing masks like once to two times a week at most, but um, toner pads for obviously like after doing my cleansing. They also come with a little uh, like tongs. Here is the container and then up top we have the little tongs and then the toner pads. I love it. So this is a uh, collagen day and night. It says daily treatment pad that offers optimized solution for those with various skin troubles due to external environmental and stress. Next, we have 
walk before. This is Cool Foot. It's a foot balm stick. Sometimes in the summer, you know, your feet aren't very cute, so I kind of got this balm for my foot and have not tried it yet. Ooh, smells really nice. It kind of smells like sandalwood. Tons of sheet masks. I'm not even gonna try and say that word, but I also have tea tree, and these are very nice and super hydrating. So I got tons of those, like literally boxes of them. Um, you also don't need to necessarily get all of these at Olive Young. Some places will actually have them for cheaper, but when I went to Olive Young, there was a sale, so. I love skincare on sale, and I stocked up because who knows when I'll be back in Korea. We've got the Dialba First Spray Serum, hydrates radiant skin. Um, once I get all of these products out, I am definitely going to be organizing, but I got tons of these obviously to kind of keep on deck, give away, give to friends, give to family. We've got the Cosrx Snail Mucin. So some of these things are actually available on Amazon. Like this one I actually picked up from Amazon. This is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. Um, the thing is that they just are a little bit pricier, but you are able to get them as long as you make sure that the store is actually CauseRx. I also have the AHC Masters Air Rich Sun Stick. So I haven't tried this one yet. I've been using the Beauty of Jocelyn one um, lately, which is actually this one. It feels really nice on the skin. So this one I really enjoy, and then this one I'll give a try afterwards. But I mean, so far nothing has missed for me. I got one of these wide rollers because one of the rollers that I have here are kind of too short, so I wanted something wider. So I picked up this, and I also got one of these brushes. The brand is Philly Millie, aluminum roll brush number 40. Clean it zero pore clarifying foam cleanser. So I get a lot of congestion in my pores. It's just how my skin is, and so this was recommended to me. This one is by Vanilla Co. And it is a rich and dense foam cleanse sebum and dead skin cell with pore peel acid and green clay for an oily skin type. So I actually have combination skin, but I get so congested in this area. And so I'm very excited to give this a try. Also, because these are so many products, I'm not going to be completely redoing my skincare routine. I'm going to be sampling these over time just because I don't want to, you know, shock my skin. This is the Clinit Zero Special Duo. Is this a mask? I think they gave me a freebie. More toner pads. Um, obviously, just see what will work best for your skin. This is the Cleansing Balm by Vanilla Co. And then I also have the Mandarin C. So this one is for brightening. Obviously, if you are going to shop, shop whatever needs you may have. But again, like I bought a bunch of stuff knowing I was gonna share it. I uh, got a couple more MediHeal masks. We've got collagen, tea tree. This is the anti-dust calming mask. So for bad um, air quality. Then I have a brightening one. And then I also stocked up on the Cosrx pimple patches. These are just like so cheap over there. So definitely wanted to grab as much as I could. Going to be doing a foot peel. So I grabbed some foot masks. Mark and I have been waiting to do this. Um, I'm just wearing sandals, so I feel like the best time to do this is in the fall. But yeah, I just don't want my foot to be shedding, you know, for two weeks when it's sandal season. Next up, I got one of these like volumizing clips. So this is also by Philly Millie, the Banana Conceal Eye Cream. So this is a concealer that I saw was pretty popular and I was looking forward to giving that a try. I didn't really buy makeup products uh, just because I was so overwhelmed and I also didn't really know what was best. I mainly saw skincare suggestions on TikTok. So that was my, you know, that was my priority for the shopping trip. But I also picked up the Tordin Lip Essence, another top recommendation. I also added some blotting sheets. This one is by, this is by Artemisia. 
think that's how you say it. Oh, this is the Beauty of Jocelyn sunscreen. And this is what I brought with me to Miami. Not a single sunburn, gotta say. Also, my esthetician was telling me that she was very proud to not see any more hyperpigmentation on my skin because I've been really good about my SPF and staying out of the sun. So that felt like a gold star to me. I have the Kahi Soul Balm, like a multi-stick. Attorney Wu, the K-drama. And this is just like a multi-stick. I use it on like some dry areas. However, I did see that people were saying if you are prone to acne or you have like oily skin, it might not be the best for you. So just something to keep in mind. If any of these products, you know, appeal to you, just double check to make sure that it will work with your skin. I picked up this cute little compact eye makeup set. I figured it would be cute to travel with just so I don't have to constantly pack and repack my full makeup brushes because they're quite long and they just take up so much space. So I like that this comes in a little compact case. Nice and compact. The Picasso brushes. So this is a makeup spatula. I have been so eager to try this, but obviously I was waiting to do this haul. So this is a spatula that is for applying your foundation and you just kind of apply it onto the skin and it's supposed to go on super evenly. So I grabbed one of these, but they also had just released a new spatula, which is this version. And I'm excited to see if there really is a difference. Looks like a weapon, but it's not, I promise. And yeah, supposedly like this is really good for applying your foundation as well. I'm excited to give this a try. Obviously, I'm no beauty expert, but I'll experiment. I'll include it in a future vlog, I guess. I also picked up a dual end ear pick. And I think I saw this on TikTok, but basically it has just like a little... Like it looks like the threading of a screw. It's just so that you don't fully like push in your earwax and you're supposed to just roll it Anyways, TMI but I picked up one of these because I'm prone to Plugging up my ear Uh, Last one I have the Etude Pang Pang hair shadow. I don't even know if this is my actual shade This is a natural black, but it looks like this I feel like it may be too dark for me. I don't know, but we have a little poof here and then you're just supposed to apply on to the pad, I guess. Let's see, because obviously I have like a patch here. Oh, is that too dark? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, remind me to not experiment with things right here. BRB. Okay, so it did come off with some water and it did help fill in like this patchy area that I have. I think it's like good from afar, but obviously upon closer inspection you can tell like <laughs> something's not right there. Anyways, that is it for my haul. I will try and include a list down below as well as photos because I know it can be pretty confusing. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this video. If you are heading to South Korea soon, definitely check out the recommendations for skincare products. Also highly recommended doing a personal color analysis. It was one of my favorite things that we did while out there. Once again, thank you so much to everyone for watching and following along. I need to go finish up the Manila vlog. So hopefully that will be up next week, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everyone for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.